Alright, Lightning Hopkins. Lightning Hopkins is one of those guys that has a sound that is pretty much ubiquitous with the blues. Ubiquitous? Ubiquitous? His sound is pretty much the definition of the blues when people think of it inside their head. That makes him a perfect starting place for uh, people that want to get into this style or learn how to just sit down and play cool bluesy stuff chilling on their porch in their underwear. I've been playing this style for about 10, 15 years or so and the technique that I've used to break it down is something I call the pinch Pinchy, pinchy, pinch. And the tickle. Tickle, tickle. Step one. Just like in the metronome video, we are going to set the BPM to 60, and we are going to pluck our thumb every time it beeps or clicks or honks or whatever crazy sound your metronome makes. Important note, part of this style is palm muting that uh, uh, E string. The way to kind of gauge how to do that is by going too much in either direction. Too far back and the note's just going to ring out. Too far forward and it's like going to not make any sound at all. You want to kind of back it up. Back it up. There we go. Step two. This is where the pinch comes in. Follow the tab up on the screen and try and follow along with me. Beautiful. Big tip. Boom. If you're struggling with the BPM being at 60, you need to slow down. Probably the most important thing you'll ever learn when playing guitar is to learn how to adjust your learning to the pace that you learn at. I promise you the blues police are not going to kick down your door and call you a fraud. Another tip. When you get it down with your uh, pointer finger, I want you to try doing the pinch with your middle finger. Part of this style is being able to use these two fingers and three, I don't know how crazy you want to get, maybe even a toe. Step three, enter the tickle technique. Tickle, tickle. This one's going to go in between the thumbs. This one's going to go in between the plum. Th this one's going to go in between the thumb plucks. Set the BPM and start doing the tickle technique. I'm gonna say the exact same tip again because it's so important. If the BPM's too fast, slow down. Step four, back to back pinching and tickling. Follow along with the tab, we're going to be putting the uh, middle and ring of our left hand or the pointer and middle, not really that concerned with it. Uh, I use the middle and the ring. Three. Ultra, super, mega, hard mode if you're a beginner. Try this phrase out. Probably the second most important tip I'll ever give you. When you encounter a difficult phrase that you're trying to learn, it is crucial that you break them down into manageable chunks. So for this one, if you're having a difficult time, I want you to just take it one one note at a time, right? So the very first one we see is that we are hitting the open and the two, right? So just get this down. All right, just get that down. And then you'll notice it goes, it slides to the four. Break it down like this. All right? And the next one is the three on the B string. I cannot suggest enough that once you get the bulk of the where the fingers go and which which frets are actually being used, that you really shift awareness over to your ears and stop using your eyes to play music so much. This is something that's very difficult to do and if you find that you're struggling with it just know that you are not alone in that. Check out my other lessons if this one was something you were into. Otherwise I love you. I don't love you. I don't know. Maybe I love you. Maybe I'll get to know you and I'll love you. I don't know. Have a good one. Bye.